This is how you take a poorly lit, boring looking bedroom and transform it into a professional YouTube studio. Whether you've got $5, $50, or a couple hundred dollars, this video is gonna give you all the knowledge you need to film professional looking videos in the comfort of your own home. We're gonna start off with almost no money and some super basic concepts, and then we're gonna build off those ideas with increasingly larger budgets. And our first budget is $5. Seriously, like, like $5. First things first, we desperately need a light source. Any light under $5 is not gonna be doing you any favors. So for this first setup, we're gonna be relying completely on all natural window light. As you can see, windows are a big, soft, bright light source, and it looks really flattering on camera. Just by opening up that window, letting some nice sunlight in, this already looks so much better than where we started, but it's not great. We need to adjust our camera settings. Now, if you haven't learned the basic camera settings yet, like shutter speed, aperture, ISO, white balance, you'll still be able to achieve a pretty good look but using manual settings, we'll be able to dial it in and get exactly the look we're going for. I'm actually getting some gross shadowy raccoon eyes from my ceiling light, so if I turn that switch off, I actually think this looks super natural. Next, if we move the camera back and ourselves along with it, that's gonna blur out the background a little bit more, and it really helps you pop and get that professional look. Lastly, this is gonna vary a lot depending on your room, but remove anything from the background that's kind of distracting or unpleasing, as well as you can add anything to the background, like if you have a bookcase or a shelf or a plant. Okay, and this didn't apply to my particular setup, but the reason this is a $5 budget is some of you are gonna end up filming at an angle where the window's over here, so this side of your face is very bright and this side is very dark. And all you need to do to fix this is run to the store and for a couple dollars, pick up a piece of white foam board. And what you can do is actually put it on the opposite side of your face and bounce the window light onto the shadow side of your face. What's cool is this is totally adjustable. So if you want it pretty close to even, you can get it very close to your face. And if you want a little more shadow, you can just move it farther away and get that high contrast look. And there you go. I would totally watch a video that looks like this. The difference is massive. But what could we do if we had $50? For $50, you've basically got two options. A light bulb with an umbrella or a softbox, or you can get a small, cheap LED panel. I'm gonna be using this small battery powered LED. It's super bright, it's portable. Apparently mine's discontinued, but there are a ton of these things you can find online for around $50. Okay, so this is what it looks like if we just take an LED panel and throw it right on top of our camera. And it kind of works, but it's not great. Right now, that's the only light in this whole room. The background is way too dark, so let's see how it looks like if I turn the lights back on. So now we've got the on-camera light, we've got the ceiling lights, and the background looks a little better, but I've kind of got those shadows coming back under my eyes. What you can do is once again, take a white piece of foam board, put it at about a 45 degree angle to the side of the camera, and then take that harsh LED, bounce it off that. When the light hits the board, it's gonna scatter, diffuse, and become an overall bigger light source, which is gonna soften it as it hits your face. To take it a step further, we can take one more piece of foam board, and if you put it on the other side of your face, it'll fill in some of those shadows. You can see if I take it away, and then put it back. This is still sort of a janky DIY setup, but for $50, the big advantage is we can now choose our background. We could film at night, we could film in the morning, we can film in any direction because we have a lighting setup. But if you're serious about YouTube and you've got some cold, hard cash just burning a hole in your pocket, get ready because this next setup is the one I personally use. All right, so this is how I'm currently setting up my bedroom for YouTube videos. It's definitely gone through some iterations over the years, but I've landed on this sort of natural looking orange and blue tone look. Basically, I've got a much larger LED panel with a nice soft box on it as my key light, 
For my fill, again, just another LED panel on a light stand. Both of these are sorted at 45 degree angles, a little bit above head height, and angled slightly down. One of the biggest advantages to having dedicated gear like this is I can set it up exactly the same every time, or I can make super minor adjustments. Right now I've just got the key light on me, definitely a dark and moody vibe. Now I've switched on the fill light, still a super dark background, but I'm a little bit more evenly lit. If I wanna turn my ceiling light on, that kind of just brightens the background a little bit more. It's not quite so moody. The goal of this video wasn't to get you to copy me exactly, although you're more than welcome to, but more so start figuring out how you can work with your particular space. Maybe you just need a better background or maybe you do need to invest in lights. Whatever it is, hopefully this gave you some ideas. Everything I use is gonna be linked in the description down below. So if you're interested, you can definitely check that out. If you wanna learn more about content creation or video production, I'll link a video somewhere. And as always, have fun, stay creative, and I'll see you all in the next one.